Ah. Oh my god, I love this dress. I'm sorry. Kicked off my shoes, dash it in the ring. My jacket is a cape, and my brother has a cape. The richest man rocks. Natalie and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to show you this video because this alteration with my pants that I do is one of my favorite hacks ever. It saves up so much money. You recycle old clothing plus you're making something that will fit you like a glove and you're never gonna want to stop wearing it or that's what happens to me at least so yeah and it's not that hard like if you're a beginner I think this is perfect for you so yeah also I'm gonna divide the video into four sections and each section is gonna be about one certain type of pants the first part of the video is gonna be about normal pants like these that have a button and a zipper in the front and that are just like a little bit too big on you that you have to take in like a few centimeters not a few inches just like a you know like a quick alteration in the second section I'm gonna focus again on those pens that have a button and a zipper in the front but that section is gonna be when you have to take like not just a few centimeters but actually like a few inches so yeah in the third section I'm gonna focus on the pants that don't have a zipper in the front but they have it on the side so yeah I'm gonna show you how to take in the waist in those and yeah hopefully I will cover everything that you need to know about downsizing pants if I don't you can always leave a comment down below and I will try to respond as fast as possible but yeah hopefully it's gonna be good also I am NOT a professional I just want to say that like I learned how to sew by myself but I've been re-sewing stuff for a couple of years now and I've been doing these alterations with all of my pants honestly and it works so yeah hopefully it will work for you as well okay let's jump right into the video okay hey so you made it into the first section where I'm gonna be altering these pants that have a zipper in the front and that need just a little bit of an alteration you can see that they don't look so bad but they still are pretty big on me so yeah I'm gonna take in like a centimeter or two from each side and this is how you do it so the first step is to put the pants on inside out once you have that you're gonna start gathering the loose fabric right where those two original side seams of the pants are if those side seams are not perfectly placed on the sides of the pants don't worry as you can see mine were placed a little bit on the back I don't know why just some pants are kind of unsymmetrical but yeah before you start gathering the fabric remember to breathe out don't suck in your belly because usually during the day you don't suck in your belly too and you want to make sure that those pants are gonna be comfortable so anyways once you have your fabric all gathered up right on those side seams you're gonna let go of one of those side seams and grab a pin and pin the one of the side seams that you're holding uh, I hope that makes sense. Once you have one of those side seams pinned, you're gonna gather the remaining fabric on that one side seam that you didn't pin yet and you're just gonna pin it down like this. So it looks like this and yeah. So now you're gonna take off your pants and lay them on something flat. It doesn't matter if the fabric of the pants is not perfectly flattened out. The most important part is that the side seams are and that they are placed right on the sides of the pants. So if your pants are not symmetrical like mine, as I already said, my side seams were placed a little bit in the back. I had to kind of like, you can see that right here, that I had to like fold in the, the crotch area so I could have the side seams perfectly flattened out. Once you have the side seams placed like that, you're gonna take like a marker of some sort Sword. I had just like a chalk that is washable and you're just gonna try to connect the pin that is already there with the side of the pants. I always do this using like a slightly curved diagonal line and I try to like follow the original curve of the pants and yeah don't be scared to make this line really long. I always find that the longer I make it the better it fits me because if you make it like really short the pants will look really bulky and it won't really fit you that well so yeah make sure that the line is really like slightly curved nothing too crazy because it will look the most natural. Once you have that line there you're just gonna take some sewing pins and pin it down and once you're done with that, you're just gonna take the pants and fold them in half and try to match up the side seams as perfectly as possible. Now we're just gonna take some more sewing pins and we're gonna use those pins that we already added on that left side of the pants as a guideline for the right side. And we're just gonna pin right next to those but going through both of the sides of the pants. 
And we're gonna pin all the way down so then it should look like this and then we're just gonna flip the pants to the side that it's not yet pinned on its own and we're just gonna connect those uh, pins that we just added there with a line using again just some washable marker once you have that line there we're just gonna flip those pens again and we're gonna remove the pins that go through both of the sides of the pens then we're gonna open those pens up and focus on that side that is not pinned yet and because there's a line already there, we're just gonna follow that line and pin it down. And yeah, just like that, we have two perfectly symmetrical sides of the pants and we can go right ahead and sew them together. We're gonna be using a straight stitch. And if you're a beginner, I would suggest doing some practice stitches on like a random piece of fabric. And if everything's working out, you can just go ahead and straight stitch along those lines that we made. And yeah, then you're done. Um, you can always cut the excess off and serge it or just use a zigzag stitch to serge it down. But I always leave my access on there because if I gain some weight, I can always go back and like re-sew them. So yeah, it's totally up to you. But again, this is the before. And this is the after. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in the second section where I'm gonna show you how to alter these pants that have a zipper in the front again, but as you can see, they are way, way, way more bigger than the ones that I was altering in the last section. So now the steps are gonna be a little bit different. But yeah, we're gonna start off the same. We're just gonna turn the pants inside out and we're gonna find the two side seams. Once we know where they are, we're just gonna start gathering the loose fabric right there. And again, remember, don't suck in your tummy. Breathe out. Once you have the loose fabric collected, you're gonna let go of one of the sides and pin the other side that you're still holding down. Once you have that pinned, you're just gonna collect the remaining fabric at the other seam and just pin it down again. Once you have that done, we're gonna keep the pants on and we're gonna move on to slimming the pants down because as you can see, the pants are still really loose around my hips and the thighs because you know we are taking in a lot more fabric than in the last part. So yeah, that's just completely normal. But to slim the pants down, we're gonna just start gathering the fabric again on the sides and pinning it right in place where we want the new seam to be, just as you can see me doing it here. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna have to decide is what style of pants you're gonna wanna do. Because the good thing about working with large pens is that you can completely change the style of the pens. If you decide that you want to pin all the way down and you decide that you want some slim fitting pens, you're just gonna follow the natural shape of your leg all the way down. Or if you pin diagonally, you will have some flowy pants or like if you pin just straight down, you'll just have some straight legged pens. It's really up to you. Me, I was working with some bell bottoms as you saw and I wanted to keep it that way. That meant that I wouldn't have to pin all the way down because, you know, bell bottoms get wider at the end. So I just matched up the new seam that I was doing with the pins with the original seam. And yeah, once you have that one side of the pants pinned, either all the way down or just anywhere to the side of the pants, you're just gonna take the pants off. And yeah, we're just gonna put them down on something flat. Make sure that the side seams are gonna be perfectly flattened out and placed on the side of the pants. It doesn't matter if the center of the pants is gonna be like scrambled up. The most important part is that the side seams are gonna be flat and right on the side of the pants. And we're just gonna focus on that side that we already pinned. We're just gonna take some washable marker and make a line between each of the pins all the way down. And once we have that done, we're gonna fold the pants in half and try to match up the side seams as perfectly as possible. We're gonna pin right next to those pins that are already there, but we're not only gonna pin through the one side of the pants, but also through the second one. And we're gonna do that all the way down. Once we have that, we're just gonna flip the pants over to that side that is not yet pinned on its own. And we're gonna take the washable marker again and make a line between each of the pins that are there. Once we have that, we're gonna again flip the pants over and take out the pins that go through both of the sides of the pants. Once you have that done, you're gonna open up the pants and now we're just gonna focus on that side that isn't pinned yet. And yeah, because the line is already there, we're just gonna follow it 
and pin it all the way down. And yeah, like this, you have two perfectly symmetrical sides of the pants and you're ready to start sewing. So again, we're gonna be using a straight stitch and when you're done, you can definitely cut off the access and serge it or just use some zigzag stitch to serge it if you don't have a serger. But I like to keep the access on, as I already said, because, you know, I never know when I'll gain some weight and like this, I can always go back and make it a little bit bigger, so yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that up to you and yeah, this is the before again and this is the after. <laughs> Okay, so you made it into the third and last section where I'm gonna be altering these pants that have a zipper not in the front but on the side. That basically means that we're not gonna be able to take in the fabric from the sides but from the front and the back and we're gonna do that by using these four little darts that are already there. So yeah, first again you're gonna turn the pants inside out and we're gonna start gathering the fabric. Again, remember don't stick in your belly but breathe out. Then we'll start just gathering the loose fabric right where those four darts are. So first I'm doing it from the front and pinning it in place and then also from the back so that it ended up looking like this. Once you have that you're just gonna carefully remove those pants and put them down on something flat. And now as you can see I'm kind of like cleaning up the darts that we made earlier making sure that you know those two sides of the pens that we're gonna be sewing together perfectly match up and yeah, then I also took my ruler and I measured the amount of the fabric that we're gonna be taking in from each dart, you know, just to make sure that each dart is the same size. And after all of that, I just took my ruler and made a line between the top of the dart and the bottom. My darts were about 10 centimeters long and one centimeter wide, but you know, yours will be probably different. So yeah, just make it however you want to. And yeah, once you have all of the darts the same with the line and everything and pinned, you can go right ahead and start sewing. I'm gonna be using a straight stitch. And yeah, once you have that done, you are finished. So yeah, again, this is how the pants looked before. And this is how they look now. Kicked off my shoes, dash it in a ring. My jacket is a cape, and my brother has a cane. The richest man rocks the snatch his necklace. Spineless bitches. Okay, and that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm sorry that it was like really informative and not really like chill and friendly like it usually is. But yeah, I just, there was a lot of stuff I had to tell you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Next week, there's gonna be more chill video. I think I'm gonna film like a thrift haul. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next week. Bye!